democracy. A small band of protesters paraded marking the anniversary of the Liberty City riots. A year ago, Miami's black section erupted in three days of killing, arson, and looting that left 18 dead, 350 injured, and property damages totaling 100 million. The violence broke out after an all-white jury in Tampa acquitted four Dade County policemen in the beating death of a black man, Arthur McDuffie. The governor rushed in 3,600 National Guard and state troopers to help police contain the disorders. $83 million in federal aid was pledged to rebuild the devastated sector, but nearly half the money has been frozen by the Reagan administration. This is that same area today, and black community leaders resent the freeze that halted what little rebuilding was underway. Our community is one of those that is in desperate need. And rather than trying to assist us, he seems to be trying to destroy us. The Liberty City riots did not, as many feared, set off a fresh wave of ghetto uprisings across America. But black leaders say the real problem is continuing unemployment, poverty, and despair. Jack Curtis, ABC News, Miami.